For AMD fans, 2019 is looking like it's going to be a very exciting year. Lots of stuff was announced at this year's CES. We got new video cards coming. We've got new CPUs coming. Just lots of stuff coming from AMD, including, you know, cloud gaming. They're just, they're really jumping into it this year. So basically, unless you've been living under a rock or living, you know, in a cave or just ignoring what's going on in the PC tech industry, you guys all know that AMD has now announced the brand new Radeon 7 card. Yay! Okay. Now, this card's supposed to gonna have 60 compute units, supposed to be about 30% faster than we've seen with the Vega 64. And that's where I want to stop right there. So we're talking 30% better than a Vega 64. Where will that performance exactly set this, this card at? Um, that's what I'm kind of really exactly wondering, because I was honestly thinking that if AMD was going to be releasing a card this year, that it really would have been at least trying to compete with the 2080 Ti, and it seems that the release of this card, 16 gigabytes of high bandwidth memory, they're not specifying exactly what type of memory, and one terabyte a second of memory bandwidth. Like I said, it's supposed to be 30% better than the Vega 64 for content creation, Blender, DaVinci, Resolve 15, Adobe Premiere, OpenCL. Um, against the Vega 64 at 4K max settings, it seems like it's doing about 35% better in Battlefield 5, 25% better in Fortnite, 42% better in Strange Brigade. This is using Vulcan technology. So all in all, these numbers do look pretty good. For Battlefield 5 with DirectX 12, we're seeing an RTX 2080 with a score of 61. They're saying the Radeon 7 is going to have a score of 62. Obviously, right? You know, one better, one up on them, right? Whether it happens, we'll have to see. Far Cry 5, DirectX 11, 61 for the 2080, 62 again for the Radeon 7. This number seems to be repeating itself here. And for Strange Brigade with the Vulcan, it says RTX 2080 at 73 and the Radeon 70 at 87. So actually more than 10 frames per second, you know, when it comes out. Now, it's supposed to be available February 7th for about $700. So let's swallow that up right now. $700, okay? Now I understand that this is going to be the very first card in the world to be made on the seven nanometer process. I was really thinking that the RX 590 was gonna be made on this process because that's what AMD had led me to believe, but instead, you know, that came out with still the 12. So I was kind of like, mm, okay. So now it's finally coming. So that's the big deal. Smaller dies mean better yields, which should mean better pricing. Because let's face it, if they can make more chips on the same wafer, that should be able to translate into lower prices into your pocket, right? Well, if a card's gonna be coming now to market at $700 from AMD, sure. With NVIDIA pricing shit off the roof, I mean, we've all heard, everybody is really pissed off at NVIDIA for a lot of reasons right now. Um, um, I admit that the RTX, the 2060, if you were upgrading from something, you have the catch. Is, I think it's a pretty good upgrade choice if you're looking just to play games. Some of the stuff about it's not going to really be that that future proof. Some users schooled me and sent me some, some links to some articles, so I checked it out. So it does look like some of those features in the card are going to be, you know, not the best thing. So that card's going to be $350. So you can't SLI those cards. So you can't take two of those cards to compete against this new 7 card whatsoever. So that's just not going to happen. And with two of these seven cards, we don't know how they're going to do them in Crossfire, but maybe two of them in Crossfire would be faster than a 2080 Ti RTX card, right? It's possible, right? We all know those numbers always don't translate. It really depends on the game developer, how close they work with the company, and how those numbers are going to translate across the board. But since we all know that, you know, if you want the top of the line Founders Edition card, it's going to cost you, you know, like almost $1,300. You could almost buy two of these cards. Now, $699 is what they're saying it's going to be priced at. Maybe it'll be a little bit, a little bit lower than that. I know that AMD fans traditionally do not like paying super duper high prices for video cards. So at the end of the day, I'm going to ask you this, though. Is your hate for NVIDIA so strong that even if... NVIDIA had a card at the same price level 
as AMD and it totally just made that card look terrible, would you still want to buy the AMD card? I mean, excuse me, buy you know the NVIDIA card instead of the AMD card or would just because you hate the things that go on with them, you just say, just screw it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of people think that I favor NVIDIA. It's not that I favor NVIDIA. People get this completely wrong. I favor the best technology. So whatever technology I can stick inside of my PC or my son's PC or any of my client's PCs that I know is going to give them the absolute best performance, that's usually what I try to direct people and what I like to use myself. Now, AMD, even though they've had great pricing and they have really good stuff, um, and another really crazy thing just to just throw in here real quick, I went up this morning, I was trying to look up prices on the RX 40 and I was completely, utterly blown away because these cards are going for like $415 and up depending on where you're buying them. And that's just absolutely crazy, especially when you can get yourself an RX 590 for around 250 bucks. It's like, okay really crazy stuff. I think the 590 is a really nice card. I really wish that it would have come to market about $200. If it would have been a $200 card, honestly, I would have said it was like the greatest card since sliced bread and sliced cheese for the entry level market. Unfortunately, pushing into that 250 range and knowing that for $100 more, you can get a card that actually is a lot faster. That's where once again, it starts to me to, to get things going on because this card that's coming out, from AMD right now, when it's gonna be coming out, the Radeon 7, it's going to be their top of the line flagship card at $700. And it's rumored to only be like what we saw, like one number better or maybe a few numbers better than the 2080. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna to have to really see when the card hits the market what it is. But for me, if two cards are priced identically the same, I myself personally, I'm gonna buy the card that gets the better performance, period. That's just how I am. I don't care if it's a few dollars more, but if you know, I see a card for $700 and I see another card for 700, maybe 720, even 730, and that other card is much faster, that's the card I'm going to go with. I don't really care about company politics unless I start reading stuff about people being harmed or children being slaved. Um, we all know that Nvidia plays hardball, Intel plays hardball, these guys always do crazy stuff that pisses off everybody in the world because they're like, wow, why are these guys doing this? Um, yeah, I admit some of the stuff is probably a little bit on the shady side. I try to pretty much stay out of that if I started reading stuff about anybody, NVIDIA, AMD, like enslaving children or causing pain to people or hurting people, my opinion would change. But just seeing people do kind of just devious business things, that to me just falls into the category of corporations. I mean, if you watch any movie anywhere, corporations, I've said this a thousand times, are evil. AMD is evil too. You don't believe me, but they are. All corporations are evil. They have one goal in mind, to get your money in their pocket, into their shareholder's pocket, and they want to win the day when it comes to making money. That's their goal. They are like an army, but instead of going out and taking lives, their goal is to take sales. That's what their job is. What I'm really hoping though that this year, I'm really hoping that AMD delivers on their promises. That's what I really hope for. I think that AMD has been an underdog a long time. I always like the underdog to win. I would love to see AMD come up and smack Intel and smack Nvidia. It would be great. Anybody who thinks otherwise out there about me, you really don't know who I am or what I am about. If AMD could produce those numbers and produce those products, I would be totally behind them saying, hey, awesome, awesome, awesome. The only thing is my experience with AMD for the most part is giant hype, like a giant rock concert, and then you get there and it's not exactly what you're expecting. You're expecting pyrotechnics, explosion, and you get there and it's a drum set and a guy with a guitar. You know what I'm saying? That's just been my experience. I'm not saying that, that what they bring to the table is not good or solid products because most of the time all their products are good and solid, but when launch time usually comes, AMD a lot of times to me fails on their promises. I hope that with this new Radeon 7 that they keep with their promises. I hope their new CPUs that come out are really good. I'm hoping this is the year for AMD, but we'll have to see. So until then, we're just gonna have to chill back and wait. This new card is gonna be here right around the corner. My birthday's in February. I'm a Pisces, so February 22nd, I'll be 54 years old. That's right, I'm getting up there in the years. So I am, I've been around a long time in this industry. But that's it, man. Let me hear your guys' opinions down below. Are you looking forward to all these new AMD products? And do you think that this will be the year 
that AMD will actually catch up with both Intel and Nvidia and slap those boys around a little bit. I want to know what you have to say. And at the end of the day, are you looking for a company that you just feel like they're the nice guy? Or are you looking for a card that really kicks ass in your system? Be honest with yourself and me. Peace.